What's up, Planner Facts? This is Technic9 from AndroidTechNetBlogspot.com. To help me, I got a ROM review of Jedi Mind Trick for Samsung Galaxy, Galaxy S2 T99 T Mobile. So, right away, when you turn it on, you will be noticing that the background, the wallpaper, is just like Galaxy S3. And when you unlock it, the unlock feature is very unique as well. It's not just the normal ICS. When you look at it, it turns and unlocks. So, you can notice that difference as well. Just like Galaxy 3, it's a very unique unlock feature as well. Right away, when you go into the interface, you can see that the launcher, UX launcher, is just like Galaxy S3 because it was ported from Galaxy S3. So it's the exact same. It's not the ICS launcher like you usually see. So that is nice. Some of the animations I notice are, are unique as well. So you can notice that as well. Also, when you go into the camera, you will notice that it's Galaxy S3 lookalike as well because the same interface and the same icons and look as the Galaxy, 3, Galaxy S3 as well. This ROM does offer everything is 100% fully functional. The creator of this ROM also added a network speed tweak as well, so that's very nice. If you download and stream off the network, 4G, 3G network, you will no notice an increase in speed as well, so that's that's really nice. That's just, just really nice small feature that goes a long way. So now you got the 15 widget toggle, which is always a big bonus for any custom ROM. You also have sleep view, which means if you are, if you turn off your phone for a long time, you can set it. I'm pretty sure it's in settings as well. Um, maybe not, but anyway, when sleep CPU after a certain amount of time, the CPU will go down low and save you a ton of battery. So that's a great bonus as well. He did add battery tweaks to help even extend that battery life even more. So that's good bonus. Uh, performance tweaks as well. So battery it, performance and battery saving tweaks as well. Let's just head over to quadrant scores. Let me close all the apps and let's actually do a quadrant score right away. So let me close out everything. And let's do a quick quadrant score and see what it gets. Now please keep in mind this is not 100% performance RAM. It is somewhat made to look nice and it has nice features as well like the 15 widget toggle and other nice features so there is somewhat performance and somewhat nice in style so keep that in mind so let me back once it's done let's give that a yes and see the results last time I got 2,772 to 2,772 alright so that is a little lower hopefully you can see it no it's not coming up but it is 2718 for this score I did get a little bit of better score last time I got 2772 so it was a little drop down but that's okay but anyway nonetheless this is a great quadrant score it came in third place out of everything it came HTC One X was first and then third was your the T989 with Jetta Mind Trick round so that's pretty good from how old it is about two years old I believe one year old one year old Sorry. <laughs> so anyway, um, nonetheless, this is a great ROM. I would highly recommend it to anyone who likes customization, likes a little spice, likes, and if they if they're a Galaxy S3 fan and they like all the interface from Galaxy S3, I would highly recommend this ROM because this ROM does pack a lot of Galaxy S3 features, like the icon, media, lock screen, somewhat, and the camera as well. So this is a great ROM overall, stable, quick and speedy, not very quick and speedy, but it's an improvement from the stock ICS. Highly recommend it guys, hope you found this review helpful, don't forget to give a big thanks to the developer of this ROM and donate to him if, you've, you, if you're using this ROM, if you enjoy this ROM. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget to subscribe and rate if you already haven't. See you next video guys. And uh, if you want to install this ROM, you can look right there on how to install it. See ya.